everybody, Ken Latterud here from ClarityMind.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how most of your pain and suffering is a result of your resistance to life. The more you can accept and surrender to the way life is, just as it is, the less pain you'll have to deal with. Many spiritual masters and mystics, here are a few right here, have spoken about living life in a surrendered way. They say that life just is, and the more you can surrender to life's flow, the happier and more peaceful you'll be. I found this to be true in my life. When I got off the road as a musician, I felt like I lost my identity. I was no longer who I thought I was. I resisted and went through a great deal of pain and an identity crisis. I went through a grieving process as well. I just wouldn't let it go. Eventually, I came to terms with it though, however, and guess what? My pain stopped. At the time, I felt it was my circumstances that was creating my discomfort, but it was really my reaction to my circumstances and my unwillingness to accept it that really caused my discomfort. I realized that it's not what happens that creates your suffering, it's your reaction to it. Simply accepting and letting go can really save you a ton of pain and sorrow. When you're willing to accept friends, your family, your circumstances, and even your struggles just the way they are, even when what is is not what you want, you'll suffer less. Imagine yourself calm, like the still point at the center of the storm, steadfast and fully in your presence and being. Make a commitment to yourself that your happiness and peace of mind will not depend upon and be controlled by your circumstances. It takes a little practice, but it can be done. Accept what happens even if it's uncomfortable. The sooner you stop resisting, the sooner your discomfort will, will end. You see, acceptance brings healing. Sometimes when what is doesn't turn out the way you want, you can simply decide to make it your preference instead. Of course you'd like for things to be a, a different way or a certain way, but you don't have to be attached to them being that way. I like this approach. It's a simple approach to living at higher levels of being called the silent witness technique. All you do is watch what you're thinking with a great deal of curiosity. Notice your thoughts, behaviors, feelings, judgments, and especially what you resist. When you find yourself coming from an ego or resistance perspective, simply watch. Just observe. If you try to stop resisting, you'll only create more resistance. As you get better at watching your responses to what is happening, it will become clear that you and you alone create your reality, including your pain and suffering. The more you accept and surrender and let whatever happens be okay, the less you are resisting to the flow of life. Remember, you don't see things as they are. You see things as you are. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Ken Latterud from ClarityMind.com.